So I want to get this up before I go. I know her. It's controversial as hell because she just uses stencils. There's really nothing artistic about it. And uh, she charged Ogden City $145,000. Now, I want to show you something. It's a fresco. We work together. See the swipe marks? See the plaster swirl marks? See the plaster marks? <laughs> That's my work. So she frescoed over my plaster work. And so... $145,000 shoe stencils. Now, we're not good enough here as Ogden artists. We're not good degenerate. We got to bring her in from uh, the Bay, San Francisco. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you something. This thing, this is going to be the new arts district. She uses stencils. <laughs> she couldn't use a hawk trough if she wanted to. I know her. <laughs> oh, God. So it's controversial. So you taxpayers in Ogden, you paid $145,000 for it. I'm all for the art, but if you're going to do a fresco, do a real fresco. I'm the only real fresco. So I want to show you some. So she did that one, and she gets $145,000. So Kevin Blanch does the most historic fresco in the fucking city by 10 fucking thousand times. All the restoration on the Ben Loman, which is the big low, all that, including the ceilings, all the exterior, all that marble, that's Kevin Blanche restoration project. But it gets better than that. Stay with me if we don't get hit here. I want to get this before I head to Monterey. Uh, you know, maybe I'll run into her down there. Right there, she says, oh my God, I know you. You're the guy on the humpback. Well, it, at uh, Half Moon Bay, that's where I live. Yep, that's me. When I walked up on the dead one. And I threw a fucking fit because they cut her up with a chainsaw and threw her in the fucking dump. I wrote Fukushima killed me. That's me. So I got to get this in before I go. I got a few minutes. So all this work is all mine. But this this isn't. I mean, I have 10,000 frescoes in this fucking town. You ever see me go with a fucking hawk and trap. And you know, but. So I hung from a rope. I did all this restoration, all of that's mine, all of it, for 30 years. And this is a building, inside and out, with a hock and try, with plaster, with a paintbrush, with, I mean, I, and I don't use a crew, me, me, Kevin Blanche. So, let me show you this, I want to get this in before I go. So she gets 145, took her about fucking five days. And I mean, just, they use stencils. I watched them do it. And then they did the one up at Weber State, stencils. I don't know how much they charged them at the water. So I told her, I says, so you're working, you infiltrated all my work here. She says, what do you mean? I says, the people who killed the monarch of butterflies. What is says, that's who built the reactions of Pukushin. What? Yeah, you're working for the people that killed them. Ha, all that's my work, all of it, all that, inside and out. But, yeah, that's John Brownie's shop right here, the greatest invention in history. So, I want to get this before I go to Uu Monterey, where the butterflies, right? <laughs> so, I've been singing, country road, take me home to the place where I belong, Pacific Grove. Yeah, the butterfly migration place, yay! Where they used to, the, the butterflies used to roam. Take me home. That's where John Denver was killed, right there. Doc Ricketts, he didn't have no marine biology degree. Kevin Blanche, the marine biologist. So let me show you. So, this is the greatest restoration project in the history of the city, maybe the Western United States. One guy hung from a rope and hand chiseled the whole thing. It had four layers over it. There were pits in this over a foot deep. Who did all this work? Who saved this? So Randy Richards and Bernie Allen promised me, those fucking liars, they put a plaque right there. There were holes right there. There were holes, you can't see them, can you? There were holes right there over a foot deep. You see a plaque? You see a plaque? You see a plaque? One guy hung from a fucking rope in 2009 and hand chiseled this whole fucking thing back together. And fresco did. It, that's a fresco. It's a real fresco, the whole thing. You see a plaque? You see a plaque? You see a plaque? You see a plaque? I guess this is the plaque, huh? huh? You see a plaque? So, no plaque. 
By the way, it took me four months, a hand chisel. They paid me in cash. <laughs> they paid me in cash 10 years ago. And that was, uh, we got the prisoners coming up over there. Leslie Hodson's first, 1905. The Masonic Temple where the New Deal was most likely cracked. The most historic building probably in the Western United States. For real. They were going to tear it down. They didn't know what the fuck it was. 1905 Masonic Temple. Leslie Hodson was a kid. 1905. I worked off a picture off the parade. World War I, which was started right here. By who? <laughs> oh boy, if you only knew the history, I know. Who started World War One? What? What? All old we talking. That dude? Oh boy. Oh boy. If you only knew. I'll write a book one day. So, she gets a plaque. She's from Half Moon Bay. 145,000. Takes a few days. Stencils. Not a fresco. She doesn't even know how to plaster. I asked her. There's a video with her and I had to get it. And I like her. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I got 70,000, took me four months, seven days a week, 12 hours a fucking day. She did it in fucking like four days, 145,000. Oh, little inflation. And I frescoed all my own, you know, all mine. I feathered it, I fucking plastered it. Like I said, same with this building, all of it. So let's keep it going. We got time, right? Historic Ogden, Utah. That's 10,000 of them, but where you been? Where you been? Freebird child, where you been? Where you going? I told that scumbag Mike Lee, I says, I've been in the bone marrow transplant center on my Mormon mission. I says, I've been on my Mormon, where'd you go in your Mormon land? Yeah. <laughs> my dad's a down winter, he says, yeah. And we all in the East State Bone Marrow Transplant Center at LDS Hospital. I was given two months to live seven years ago. By the way, right here, we'll be kicking it off at the New Year's Eve party right here. It'll be 150 years, 150 years, the Golden Spike. When I was eight years old, it turned 100. What a celebration this time. This is a far different town. It's the bluest district in America. I had a guy right there telling me, work for the county. He says, well, you know why you took us? We've always had these deep-rooted conservative values here in Ogden. I'm like, are you fucking nuts? This is the bluest city and the bluest district in the United States until 1980. I said, you're not from here, are you? No. I said, you're seen it when I was a kid. This place was filthy, stinking rich. Ha! This is how gone they are. We went from the bluest to the reddest. Just like that. Boom. That's where the Wells Fargo building is the first security bank. I can do a right whole book on that. That's where the World Bank and the New Deal was cracked. That and inside, well, the Masonic Temple inside there. So, my grandsons, my grandpa's standing on the train with the hands. They're shaking. He's the second one back. Abraham Huntsaker the first. He, uh, the UPSP Railroad was in his house. So my mom only had, my grandma only had girls, my grandpa. My grandpa's Abraham was the fourth. So they interviewed my two grandsons because I call them Abe the Eighth. Um, and by the way, my grandparents didn't believe in inherited wealth. Oh yeah, Monterey had people. Oh yeah. PB, San Diego, Old Town. So here it is. I get no plaque. This is about a month long. Mine's 10 years old. But I have them. 40 years old all over this town. They get a plaque. <laughs> Butterflies are free. <laughs> free to fly. <laughs> Country road, take me home. To Pacific Grove. Where the butterflies used to roam. I says, don't you Royce? We have a job together. I plastered this. I did all the plaster work. So we have a fresco. Because when they're dry plaster, like you can paint them over 100 years later as long as they're not touched. It's called a dry fresco. But I do wet ones. I do ruins. I got 10,000 of them. I mean, they're masterpieces. Every fucking building up and down this town. You can go on any building on 25th Street. It's all my you say it's all my work. All of my work. There's thousands of them. I get no flack. Fuck Bernie Allen and Randy Richards, too. Fuck them both. Liars. Fucking lie to me. By the way, Matt Godfrey with their cut thing was the mayor then. I'm sure the money was all dirty and stolen. I taught with Matt at Weber. He's as corrupt as they fucking get. Yeah, he was mayor. He's better than this one, the drug addict mayor we have now. Caldwell, I went to college with that fucking piece of shit too. He's a dope fiend. Pill popping fucking rat. What's he gonna do? Sue me? Fuck him.
talk to any of the cops around here. They all know. Stay in tune.